Virgo, welcome. This is your midweek tarot reading. Um, it's for anyone with Virgo in your chart. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for supporting. And um, thanks for giving the video a thumbs up as well, because it is a small channel and it does help to get the thumbs up. So um, I'm going to go into this energy for you. It's divinely timed. And um, we're just asking Spirit to show us what's going on for Virgo in the next few days. Whenever you watch this video, Spirit, please show us what is going on for Virgo. Okay, romantic feelings. Your romantic feelings are real and worth exploring. So there's romantic feelings there for somebody, or somebody's got romantic feelings for you, Virgo. Hmm. Let's see what else we're getting. Friends. Um, so there's the friendship card as well. And I feel with this kind of uh, energy that although there's romantic feelings there, you would be better to somehow perceive this person to be like a friend because it would sort of take the pressure off the situation. OK, um, you know, um, I think it's Osho said that the most beautiful relationship you can have with anyone is friendship because friends rarely ask anything of each other they they really demand it's it tends to be the most accepting kindest relationship you can have and i was like wow that's so true isn't it and so because when romantic feelings come into play there can be a lot of expectation and demands and lots of inner child stuff comes up doesn't it so this this is more than just romantic feelings. This is friendship. And looking at it as a friendship, I think, would be the way I'm being shown would be the way to go because it will help you on a mental level in terms of how you manage this connection. But we'll look deeper here. Yeah, I mean, solid foundation here you've got with somebody. Um, Taro is saying that you sort of hit a milestone, really, really positive here. And... Um, you know, it was like a celebration because it's like, yes, we've met, we have a connection, we have something really good. And it's, it's positive because there is a solid foundation there between you. But it's like lately there's been some mind activity, maybe some negative mind activity, maybe one of you is a bit depressed. Maybe there's been issues that have had to be dealt with and it's felt difficult. Um, but the good news, right, the good news is you've got three of wands so basically things are gonna just massively improve it's like you can step up for each other it's like you both have a vision at longer term and this is a successful partnership for some of you this could even be a business partnership um three of wands is a very strong business card um but you know it's it's a very much a yes from the tarot so this connection you've got with somebody, there are romantic feelings there, um, but it would be good to base this as a friendship. It will have a much sort more solid foundation. It will keep you much more calm <laughs> if you can view. I know it's difficult when you have romantic feelings for somebody to kind of see it as platonic, but if you can treat this person like you would a friend, I think it, from what I can see in the tarot, it would be the best thing you could do. Uh, because, you know, longer term, this is going to be a really good thing that you've got going with somebody. And like I said, if it's work, it will be successful. Oh, my God. That is freaky. Look at this. <laughs> that is freaky. Look, you've both got the devil card. Yeah, you could be very addicted to each other or you could feel like sometimes the relationship goes a bit toxic. And that's why I think spirit is showing me just treat it like a friendship. Like, just see this person as a friend. Imagine... Another friend that you have that is the same sex as your partner, yeah? And how would you interact with them? How would you perceive them? How would you treat them? And then it can take the edge out of it. Um, what I want to say is, as well, if it's just that you're both going through some kind of difficult time for whatever reason, um, you're going to come out of this difficult time because that Three of Wands is such a positive card. It's basically forward movement into a very positive future um let's see what your spirit guides are saying self-forgiveness let go of the old guilt and remember that you are god's perfect child 
okay self-forgiveness so just yeah forgiving yourself forgiving each other um let go of the past just don't even allow the mind to go into the past or any negative activity in the mind just don't allow it stay in the present moment stay focused on universal love you know um i see from these cards that the obstacles will be overcome and uh, things are going to start picking up very soon between you and somebody else you know um, and it's going to be a positive partnership going forward so um, it's sometimes it's just purging um, old stuff and it's not actually to do with your relationship with this person it's old stuff and it's being able to make that uh, real clear uh, distinction um, you know and if you want help with that you know you can book in with me uh, sending you lots of love lots of peace wherever you are on Gaia and um, thanks for giving the video a thumbs up and subscribing